Hello and welcome to another video. Um, this video we're gonna talk about how to change your layout really quickly and easy, the easy way. Um, the first thing you need to do is find a, a HTML template, and just you can what you can do is just Google it. HTML HTML5 free website templates, and here I found this one. This linked. So I went down the list. It's supposed to be 95 free. So if you go down, you see a bunch. So pick one that you like so you can start working on your uh, site or if you're learning. So in this case, I picked this one now. There's a Chinese lady there, I think. And this is what I picked. So I went into more info which took me to this website and then I hit download and I did download and what I did is I went into the content folder and I copy and pasted the theme of folder. It has a lot of pages that you probably won't need but it's good to keep it just to see how it's laid out. So I didn't change anything on these files at all. So once you copy that folder into here, just remember that files are gonna you're gonna have to edit some files, and the files you're gonna edit are in the share folder. So to create another layout like we had before, this is the previous layout. What I did is I went into add new view. Uh, name it whatever you want usually this will be checked so you need to uncheck it uh, once you click add you're gonna have a file let me add one Just, uh, click add as you can see you have a uh, this template is what you need so once you have that done, then you can start you can start copying. Uh, you can open the index file from that download. Uh, where's the verse? So where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh here it is. Go to themes or theme. And then find index. Here we go. Right click and open it up. And I didn't copy this at all. Because this is IE stuff. So I don't care. So here, if you care, you can copy it. Now here, what I did is I copy and pasted this whole thing all the way down to here. That's what I did. And as you can see, the source is pointing to the JS folder. In your case, it's going to be different. It's going to be the same thing, but where do we go? Here, as you can see, you need to point it to this uh, path. So you're going to have to do slash content slash name slash and then the JS. Uh, if you don't do this, what's going to happen is you'll see how Visual Studio will say, hey, I cannot find this guy jquery.js file not found like that obviously you can replace this js file with the current uh, jquery version but we're just going to keep it that for this demo and everything else you need to copy and paste the same thing as you can see i've been doing that now once you get to the body in this case since this is our layout I only left what we want to show up on every page. So I took up everything in between. So I, like all of this, I left it here as like the footer or the page. And this is the navigation. And then I placed the render body section there. And of course, you can change your contact links or href. And then you can go to your own home index, right? and then you can paste the remaining part that you want to see on your first, uh, on your 
index page. So I left all of this in, and then when you run it, it works pretty good. As you can see, it's working really nice. Now if you go to the contact, you see that I'm still I still have the navigation and the bottom por portion of it, but I it looks better. I think this template is much better for the tutorials. So that's it. Uh, the last thing you need to do is make sure that you go into your view start and change the layout. So thank you for watching.